Hello all, welcome to People's TV. In this video, we will know how to use refraction layer in V-Ray for SketchUp in detail. First of all, let's add some default material to the sofa seat with the help of V-Ray material editor. To know how to work in material editor, watch my previous video for the same. Now I have added material to the model. After adding materials, let's add reflection and refraction layers to the materials. To know how to add layers to the materials in detail, watch my previous videos for the same. Now let's preview the material and do a test render. Here is our rendering output image. This render is the default render with default reflection and refraction layer settings. To explain you better, I have added more materials in the model. Now let's understand different settings in refraction layer one by one. Let's start with how to control transparency in refraction layer. If you don't see the transparency from the material preview window, that's because the transparency is set to black. Go to diffuse layer of the material you want to change the transparency. Click the color box in front of transparency and change it to white. It will give you 100% of transparency, as we can see in the material preview. Let's see our render output image to be clear. You can see the transparency in the yellow sofa, but without its original yellow color. When you set the transparency to 100% white, no matter what you have for diffuse color, it will not show up. It will render like right hand side sofa in the image. Now, let's add color to the refractive materials. If we add transparency to the model, we will get render output like this. Now let's add refractive colors to the model. The best way to do this is through the fog color, which is located to the lower right of the refraction dialog box. Change the color to same as diffuse color in the model and preview. Now we can see the red color in the preview with the transparency as well. Let's do a test render now. We can see in the render output image as well, the red sofa is transparent with the red color fog in it. In comparison with the other sofa which is fully transparent. Now let's understand the fog settings. The appearance of fog depends on three parameters. Fog color, fog multiplier, and object size. The fog color is the very important factor and the wrong color can make it hard to achieve our desired results. It is best to set your color to a very light or desaturated version of the desired color. The object size is important because fog is created by calculating how much light penetrates in object. Let's do some test and know by ourselves. Keep the Fresnel IOR and Reflection IOR in Reflection Layer to be the same as 1.55 and IOR in Refraction Layer also the same as 1.55. Change the fog color with RGB value of 244, 250 and 230 respectively. And now preview the material. You can see there is green tint in the material with the transparency in it. Now let's check the render. In render output, we can see the effect of fog color. Now let's check with the help of different test renders the effect of fog multiplier. Let's change the multiplier value from 1 to 0 0.1 and preview the material and render output image. We can see in the render output image the green fog color is minimized in the model in comparison to the previous render. Now let's understand how refractive index works in refraction layer. Refractive index helps in making different materials in V-Ray having refractions in it. IOR index of refraction is used to calculate the amount of light reflected from transparent object. The newly added IOR default value is set to 1.55. Let's start with glass material. I am using a black tinted glass tabletop 
let's check out the settings for that. In the reflection layer, keep the settings and IOR value to default. In diffuse layer, change the diffuse color having the RGB value of 128. And change the transparency to white. In refraction layer, change the color and transparency to white. In fog color, change the RGB value to 247 in all. And keep the rest settings to same. And you will get the same preview as you can see in the material preview. Now let's see our rendered image. Index of refraction IOR for glass is 1.517 in refraction layer. You can change the glass effects according to your need. And can save the V-ray material to use again in the model. Here is the list of refractive material with their exact IOR values which you can use to get the desired effect of materials. Now we will know how to use glossiness in refractive materials. Both reflective objects and refractive objects have option settings for glossiness. The difference is that reflection glossiness only reflects the surface whereas refraction glossiness will have the effect on the object's transparency. Let's change the default glossiness value from 1.0 to 0.8 and preview. Make sure that the transparency in diffuse layer is set to white. Then only you can see the transparency in refractive material. Now you can see in the preview there is blurriness in the transparency of the material. It is because the refractive glossiness affects the transparency of the objects. Less the glossiness, less transparent the material. We can change the glossiness value from 0.1 to 1.0 and can see the different effects of it. Let's see some test renders to find out the effects. This render contains the glossiness value of 1.0 which is the default value. That's why the pod is fully transparent. In this render the glossiness value is changed from 1.0 to 0.8 and you can see that. It has an effect on the transparency of the pot. The transparency of the pot is decreased. In this render, the glossiness value is 0.5, due to which the blurriness of the pot is increased. The glossiness of a refractive objects usually used to represent different types of glass, for example, frosted glass. Now let's understand the role of shadows in refraction layer. There is an effect shadow option under refraction layer having the checkbox. By default it is unchecked. When it is checked, the color of the transparent object will affect its shadow and it's not black anymore. The depth of the shadow also increases. Let's do some test render and find out the difference by ourselves. Now this render image is the result when our after shadow box is checked due to which we can see the reddish effect in the shadows, which makes it more realistic. We can try different color in the model with the help of fog color and can see the effect of shadows. Now let's understand how to make double sided and translucent materials. Under options of each material you will find this double sided checkbox. In the default mode box is checked. This option is particularly important for translucent materials. When this option is unchecked, light that enters the inside surfaces will not be rendered and show up black. The reason to have this option is that sometimes you may want to uncheck this option when rendering the object having translucent material, which we will study next in order to get the right texture. Now let's get to know about translucent materials. Before, we talked about changing the diffuse color to get the degree of transparency we want to create. White means 100% transparent, black means 100% opaque. You can create translucent materials with colors anywhere between white and black. 
But now we want to introduce a different translucent material. It is related to special light absorption materials. Let's know about the settings required for light absorption materials. For that, first you have to check the translucency option under the refraction layer. Double sided materials should be unchecked so that the light can get through the inside of the object. Change the IOR in refraction layer to 1.0. Decrease the refraction glossiness value below 1. Let's take it 0.3 to 0.2. Change the fog color to same as diffuse color and change the multiplier to 0.3. In options, change the cutoff value to 0.001. Now let's check our renders and see. In this render you can see the light is penetrating to the object to some level only. As we go down in object, it gets darker from inside. This material is good for creating things like wax, skin, milk, cheese and plastic which all have a little translucency in it. You can achieve those materials by changing the values in settings told previously in this video and can get desired results. That's all about refraction layer in V-Ray for SketchUp. I hope this video was helpful. Join me on Facebook or other social platforms to get connected and talk. If any doubt or questions write them down in the comment section and also don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos to your friends. Thanks.